break these chains I'm bound for the life of the simple things Okay guys, so I got a ball and I got a hitch for the RV over here and I hooked up the tow dolly over there and the tow dolly was angled up too high so we're gonna take this back off and I'm gonna go see if I can exchange it for one that's almost a straight drop instead of this four inch drop it looked like I needed more of a drop than I did so we'll go ahead and see how that goes I hope they let me swap it out because uh, I bought it over here at the uh, flea market here in Quartzsite and I don't know if they have any kind of exchange rules on it and I don't know if I still have the uh, receipt or not so we're back we got a different hitch they went ahead and uh, let us exchange it so I'm gonna come on over here to the back of the RV and we're gonna get her hooked up Now that the hitch is in there, I'm ready to put the pin in. And then once I have the pin in, I'm gonna get my contacts on and pull this dolly out a little ways. Again, put it, put it on, pull it out a little ways, and then uh, see about hooking the car on it and do a little practice tow. Catalina, are you nervous about the practice tow? No. No? You think it's gonna be perfect? Yeah. She was nervous earlier, don't let her fool you. <laughs> Over here I got the RV all hooked up and ready. I pulled it out here to get the uh, dolly on it easily and we're gonna bring over the car and put it on it as well but new ball 6,000 pound uh, I believe this is uh, 6,000 pounds and it'll take a 500 pound tongue load and then I have this lockable pin here with key lockable pin I should say so we're all square there now I'm going to bring over the uh, dolly and put it on there and see about hooking the car up. Seems heavy, huh? A little heavy. You wanna drive with the car? We are in a second, but I, I got a couple of things more to hook up. In my understanding, is that these the chains are supposed to cross and hook up on the safety chains here. And then the other one's supposed to come across here. And latch on so that they're crossed. Almost seems like those are might be a little too long. Maybe if I hook them. and then we need to plug this in this guy with this guy for brake right. lights and then my understanding is the car is supposed to be able to come right up on this if we undo it here Out. Now this is supposed to be able to come down like this, now that I took this out. Oh, yeah. Yep. And then we drive the car up it, and when the car gets here, it pushes this back down, and then we pin it again. Let's see. You want me yeah. to put it here? Yeah. Okay.
All right, that could be a problem. It looks like we have an issue here where the under skirting or the ground effects on the car might be raking the ramp. I'm gonna see if putting a couple boards there so it doesn't start so low might help. We'll find out. Okay, still kind of having a problem with the ground effects. I'm gonna try to not have the uh, incline on the ramp quite as steep. So right now we're trying to slide the boards underneath there so it's not quite as steep when she's going up and see if it's any better. What I just did might work, but uh, it's not gonna work without longer boards. Back up. Well, we got her on there. Now, if I can remember to do it right. <laughs> Catalina got out too quick. She you was in there. You should let us do it. You could have just videoed it. I know. Well, I think, think we're ready to try to tow it a little bit, huh? I would. <laughs> all right well chains are on all the locks are on i think i'm ready to try her yeah cross your fingers here's your wood thank Keep you sir and then when you come back come find we'll, me yeah i was gonna say we'll borrow your wood we're gonna start a fire with that <laughs> <laughs> catalina you want to ride with me yeah, yeah. hey Good luck. thanks we'll see you guys in a bit <laughs> he doesn't you want to roll <laughs> you guys want to try roll it with us well, let's see how she rolls huh there she there's your car let's see all right okay, we got one more thing we need to do what's that put the pin so when you take off the car doesn't go like that the tilt okay Oh. Gotta put it in now. Oh shit. You know the tilt the wheel? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. That would be bad. That would have been really bad. Really? But we figured it out real quick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad he did though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's see how it well, rolls. How many times have you ridden ridden inside up front? Here? Yeah. Never. Because you're always in that car. Yeah. Well, we just got the RV, right? Yeah. But in our first trip, we we didn't bring the car. It was like in your land in a parking lot. Did he ever use this door? Huh? Does he ever use this door? It's up to him, right? Like if... Yeah, I'm surprised to... Uh... Maybe he forgot, right? <laughs> it's so unusual because the other one didn't have it, you know? They don't make them like that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, you know? Yeah, and this one's nice. Well, a lot of times you see them, they just, they look really trashed. But this one's nice. All right. Well, now that ought to be at least 100% safer. First stay here. My first time here. <laughs> wow, I can't even feel it. Didn't make really any big difference back there. Really? Really. Good job. Engine wise. I think it's better if you go this the other way, huh? That backup camera is deceptive. It'll make it look like it's crashing right into the back of your rig, but it's not. What is that noise? 
Get out there, connect with people, live your big story. Make sure you do something every single day to reduce world suck. Peace, guys. Peace and love. Without you, my friend, can I tell you all about it when I see you again? We come a long way from where we are.